here's a quick little video uh, getting ready to paint this room nice room you know I did the sheetrock a while ago and anytime you got kids and dogs and all the other stuff you're gonna have uh, you know nicks and scratches in the wall so this video is to show you how to uh, find these imperfections a lot of times you look at a wall just like this wall right now we're looking at um, this doesn't look too bad right but you gotta get a little closer to it and what I do is uh, take a light some kind of flashlight this is a you know whatever it's got one of the rechargeable batteries which is nice and shine the wall and take a look for the and once you get the light on the wall bring it almost parallel to the wall like this then all of a sudden you can see the you can see all the stuff coming right out you see up the wall and you can get pretty look at that one there before without the light you wouldn't see nothing but once you get that light bouncing a you know a pretty close angle on it you'll see all these marks and that was a sander mark for me I never did it perfect but uh, every try uh, every time I paint I try to get it a little bit better so what I'll do I'll take my little putty knife and uh, fill some of that in and have to uh, you know before I paint it I'll sand it a little bit you know with whatever dry paper or whatever and I use uh, usually now all the paint you get is a uh, primer with the paint and uh, definitely get that stuff it's uh, 30 bucks a gallon or whatever the heck it is but you don't got to prime then you don't got to you know paint after that if you if you use a color that's pretty close to what you already have you know you can uh, get away with maybe doing one coat or just do or do whatever but again if you don't have to prime then paint it's so much nicer so anyway just a quick little uh, tip there how to find these imperfections of course some imperfections are pretty big uh, you know big holes in a wall but uh, here's another one down here you look at the base here you don't really see too much once you get the light on it though you can you can sort of start to see in uh, what's going on you see a little bit of a mark there you gotta fill up a little bit so it's just a nice way to do this uh, I I don't know where I found this idea at but uh, I've been doing it and if you don't use a light like this I find that uh, you do a little bit of puttying and eh, it looks okay but sooner or later you walk into the room and you you see one you missed you know because the light hits it a certain way so Hope this helps. Pretty uh, quick and dirty trick and uh, gives you pretty good results too. So enjoy.